No, we don't. We, we, we don't give up, and uh, this is not new. Uh, this is not new. We we, we have asked uh, for months for a ceasefire in Gaza uh, and in Lebanon. And yesterday we had uh, one more occasion with the Gulf countries' leaders to address the situation in the region, to discuss what are the concrete uh, actions we can try to, uh, to 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 make or to initiate in order to have a more positive impact. Now, I want to to share a few few words with you. First. We we all agree that what is going on in Gaza, from a humanitarian point of view, is a catastrophe. It's a disaster. And we have a collective responsibility to exercise uh, our influence in order to try to convince that uh, more humanitarian access this is needed and this is urgent. It's one first element. We are exactly on the same page. And you know that uh, uh, the EU, together with our member states and together with uh, the UN agencies, we are doing a lot and we are doing what we can do to try to provide more humanitarian support to the people in need in Gaza, point one. Point two, we want the respect for the sovereignty and total integrity of Lebanon, and we want the respect for the UN resolutions regarding uh, Lebanon, and that's why I repeat again that today uh, the leaders, the European Council in conclusions, we condemn uh, the attacks against UNIFIL, and you know that uh, many member states, European member states, they, 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 they provide uh, soldiers to this, uh, to this uh, UN uh, force. And point three, I want to be clear that uh, yesterday we had a friendly exchange of views with our colleagues from the GCC that in Europe we have a serious problem with the role played by Iran because we can see how Iran is a threat, a nuclear threat on the one hand. Point two, Iran does, it, does not accept the existence of Israel and wants to destroy Israel. We cannot accept this, uh, uh, this uh, Iranian uh, behavior and Iran is using proxies to destabilize uh, the region, and that's why uh, we, uh, you know, our position, uh, we support uh, Israel and its right to exist, its right to defend itself in line with the, the international law, and on the other hand, we know that uh, we have to address, to tackle this challenge and the security concerns posed by Iran.